Hello guys. In this video, I'll be talking about uh, some CAE application on how to create and enforce uh, displacement. So let me show you what my simulation model consists of. So it has a 2D uh, mesh which serves to enforce the model. Then for the 3D mesh, we have the base component. These are, this is the base. So this is the roof component and this is the plastic component and this is the rubber component so the materials are defined and we move on to the uh, contact definitions so contacts are defined between each of the possible uh, location to have contacts so the contacts are well defined and we can proceed to the next which is the boundary conditions so we can define symmetric conditions at this plane because it's supposed to be a mirror plane then we have this uh, user-defined uh, boundary conditions to fix the boundary uh, locations so all these boundaries are fixed and also we have to uh, fix uh, entire, totally the bottom of the plastic component so all the boundary conditions are well defined and there are still one thing pending which is the uh, enforced displacement so I will be showing you how to create the enforced displacement. So from the constraint type, uh, choose uh, enforced displacement constraint. And from here, choose component. Now we'll be choosing the nodes to enforce. So I'll be choosing all the 2D mesh, 2D nodes. Then um, the direction of the enforcement, I'll be using a local coordinate system which I've already created earlier so I'll be using this so let me just quickly select this coordinate system so the degree of freedom uh, number one referring to translational x direction DOF2 translational y and DOF3 translational z so 4 to 6 referring to the ro rotational uh, movements so I'll not be uh, anticipating any rotation so I'll be entering zero to forbid any uh, motions in that particular direction and also I'll be forbidding uh, the X and Y direction so the definition only allows the move the enforced direction in the Z direction in the positive Z direction so in here we can choose uh, to enter this data using a new field uh, table so in this form the domain will be choosing time and we can input the data set here so the first point usually is zero zero that means at, at the beginning zero uh, the time is zero and the enforcement is zero and when the time is one the enforcement is one in the positive direction so that's it about the definition. So this is how we define the um, enforcement loop, uh, this uh, constraint. So do take note that currently I'm using a solution uh, 601106. So this is a advanced nonlinear implicit solution. So if you are interested to do an explicit solution, for example, 701, uh, you can use back the same definition so you can just simply drag and drop this definition into the new solution and it can be reused so that's it about how to define the definition for enforced displacement so I'll be showing you quickly about the animation uh, that have been achieved so this is the displacement uh, control plot so I'll be doing the animation and okay so by looking at this animation the 2D uh, mesh is enforced to move in the Z direction of that local coordinate system to push this roof to touch with the rubber uh, material and we can see uh, the rubber components uh, deformation uh, shape so that's it for this short video I hope you enjoy it thank you